Greetings and welcome to Project High Rise. I am Catherine of Sky and have been just itching to play this game recently. So let's look at uh, a new scenario. I have already completed quite a number of these. And the next one on the list is Federal Center. Uh, it looks like from reading the description that we are going to have a limited clientele as far as tenants are concerned, but that um, the government, because they want to move in all these offices, are going to give us access to a special steel subsidy that should uh, reduce the cost, cost of floor construction. So let's play. All right, so let's see what our goals are. The bronze goal, of course, is let's see, 100, 100 office workers and 25 law offices. The bronze is a daily revenue of $50,000, 50 law offices and 150 office workers. But we always go for the gold, so let's see what they want. They want 250 office workers, that's a lot, and 100,000 in daily revenues five regional offices. So we have our work cut out for us. Uh, let's look at the map a little bit and see what we got going on here. Okay, we got a fairly wide uh, building. The only thing is I don't like that these elevators are so far uh, to the left side here. Uh, that kind of annoys me. I wish I would have a central core of elevators um, because, you know, I could kind of stretch it a little bit more because if we look at the elevator happiness zone it kind of ends right there and these guys will be far from the elevator so um eh, it's that's not not to my taste i have to say but that's okay we will deal with it so let's see what's going on in our building get our guys something to do oh there's this nice little lobby area with some windows and a chair and some plants what is this? Oh my God, they have a, <laughs> it's a, uh, a little cafe in, in the basement. Wow, okay, I'm gonna move that at some point. All right, so let's put another a small restaurant here because I know that some of the offices are gonna want that. I'm trying to get my guys to finish this area here so I can hopefully move in some guys, move in some offices before the end of the day. And that way we'll get more rent money. Okay, let's see what we got available. Wow, we only have legal offices and accounting offices. Oh, that's pretty decent, 141. Okay, shove you in there. And let's advertise. Meanwhile, I will build some more offices. All right. And these guys. All right, I have four potential clients. Let me put in another office here. Oh, wow, I need phones. Wow, 166. That is awesome. Great. Uh, wow, the others are so not not enough, guys. Pay me more. I want more. I'll move in the over hundreds anyway. Okay, so we need electricity to go this way. And there. And phone lines. Oh, we do not have a telephone exchange yet. So let me just they call it a switchboard. Goodness me. I think I watched too many... Uh, World War One shows and documentaries because <laughs> I keep calling it a telephone exchange instead of a switchboard. Um, it, it does work that way. It is sort of an exchange. So anyway, okay, we need to hurry up and reduce this amount here. So as soon as these guys finish this area, I'm going to queue some more uh, building here, floor area. I like to build my buildings as wide as possible uh, before adding flare, uh, layers upward because it basically these elevators have a cost per day, $125 a day, just to keep them running. So, let's see, that's a cheapy one. Go away, cheap thing. All right, and 141 is acceptable. All right, let me pause because I want to... Um, basically build. I want to build. Let's go. Build all the way out. There we go. Now I can look at these clients who want to move in. 141. That sounds great. All right. So these guys are happy. How is this guy surviving without water? Maybe they don't need water. Maybe only some of the cafes need water 
Huh. All right. And rent is too high. They're not that happy about the rent being high. Well, they're going to have to suffer onward, I have to say. Come on, guys. I wish you could kind of, like, tell them not to do this area and prioritize other areas. That would have been nice. Okay. Come on, guys. Keep on working. But at least they're doing a good job. That's a good thing. Come on. I want you guys to finish this area. I want more offices. Yay. All right. So we're using six phones. I think all of these uh, higher priced guys basically are using the phones. <clears throat> wow. 350 a day for phones. That's pretty expensive, I have to say. Pretty expensive indeed. All right. Let's start allocating these places for offices. Nice. Oh, no. I can't. Ew. Um... I gotta delete these guys because I do not have a water uh, a water closet there. Oh dear. I, I can just imagine all of the, the British people watching this are gonna just like giggle every time I say water closet. It is technically called a plumbing closet. Pardon me guys. Alright. We'll replace these offices and see if I can shove in some guys here that will pay me some decent rent. 161, yeah, by all means. Okay, and I also need electrical lines down here as well. And phones, phones, phones. I think I'm gonna have to buy another phone exchange very shortly. And I am turning a profit, hooray. Oh, well, until, <laughs> until these electricity things go away. All right, let's build a bigger, I'm gonna build the bigger electrical box. It has 50 connections. It's going to cost us a thousand a day, but let's get rid of these guys. And that's only a net increase of 500 a day. So let's decline these, get more, decline these, get more. All right. And I may need to just take a loan. Oh, one of my clients is upset. Why is that? Yo, what do you need? All right, I will, I will lower your rent by, you know, 25%. You don't have to pay that extra 25%. Okay, these are still advertising. There we go. Nice. Those are some good rents. Tasty rents. Woohoo. And rain. Okay, that doesn't affect my office, guys, I don't think very much. They don't seem very upset by it anyway. All right. No. We need better, better clients. All right. Let's get an elevator. And get these guys. Uh, oh, another. I need another phone uh, switchboard. Wow. Total demand is 13. I may need to bite the bullet and may basically build a bigger phone uh, exchange as well. Okay. Let's see. 103. No, I don't want to want you to pay 103. That's too little. No, no, no. And then we'll need electrical this way. Uh, once I put in a wiring closet, I'm going to I'm going to do something sneaky here. I'm going to put the wiring closet not immediately next to the elevator. Basically, leave a space for the water, uh, the plumbing closet to go there. <laughs> And, uh, so I don't forget about it. Did something move out? No. I just, it was a phantom noise from playing this game too much. That's what it was. You could tell. All right. Okay. Let's build another couple of offices over here. And see. Wow. No more high paying clients. Well, that's okay. We'll just shove these guys in anyway. There we go. Okay, cool. And let's get some more floor. Wow, I could build the whole floor. That was pretty cool. Don't know what my total is going to be at midnight. I'm kind of slightly scared to see it because 
Uh, we just added some expensive utilities. Let's see what it's going to be before I take a loan. Oh, wow. Okay. 864 per day. That is nice. Oh, look at this. And we got medium offices and retail shops. Excellent. Okay. So I'm going to just fill up this side with medium offices. And I'm going to build another floor here. I know that medium offices want, um, they need shops and things and stuff. So I'm going to build as many of these things as I can. But the thing is, they take up less utilities. So they're actually kind of better to put in here. They pay rent of 316 per day. And they need medium restaurants, cafes, and small stores. So, and they also want those other services, but they, um, they're a little bit better for the building because of the population increase. Okay. Let's put this here and let's put a small one at the end here. Anybody going to pay us a chunk of change? You will. Detective agency. Oh, whoops. I forgot to give them electricity and stuff. Well, it'll have to wait till, till I get a loan because they're not going to wait all day for that. Okay. So let's get this $7,500 loan. It's going to have payments of 300, which we can already cover. So let's just go for that. Why not? Let's get the electricity across and the phones. There we go. And let's get another wiring closet up here and do the same thing. With the phones and electricity. Come on, thing. There we go. Good. How are we doing on electricity? 66% and phones are at 70%. Hmm. So we do need a lot of stuff. Um, I want to build another row of small offices only on this, this row here. I think this floor and then above that, I think I'm going to put my stores and the restaurants, the new stuff, decline those and decline that, get those advertising. Uh, these offices, because they don't care about noise, they're really good as buffers to things like restaurants and stores and stuff. And it'll keep these guys kind of cocooned in their own little quieter world. Do we get anything here? 141. Hmm. Not very pleased about our potential clients here. Whoops. Hello. Um, eh, I'll put them in anyway just because I feel bad. I feel greedy. I should not be so greedy. 156 and 103 is good. And put another add in. And meanwhile, back at the ranch, we'll put two more floors here. Um, I think I'll have one for stores and one for restaurants for cafes and stuff. And then I will be able to start building those services that these guys need as well. Oh, 161, that all, that's very tasty. Nice. Sort that out. Let's get some utilities going. And I know these guys are going to need wiring, uh, electricity, but I don't know what else they're going to need. So we will put those in as it comes up. All right. So these guys, Wow, legal op that's the only one we can, oh, maybe we can build, if we get more prestige, we can build legal uh, or financial offices. So they want medium restaurants, cafes, and small stores, and also these different kinds of services. Oh, we need another phone thing too. Uh, I think, do I have enough money to build the medium phone thing? Yes, I do. I do. Yay. All right, shove that there, take this one off and that one off and hope <laughs> very much that I have enough money. Okay. So let's see. Uh, let's see. Small stores are going to need a storeroom and I need space in the basement for a storeroom. Shoot. All right. Well, let's see. I may even need, I, I think, I will get, you know, I don't want to take another loan right now. I'm just going to wait till midnight 
and see what happens. And let's see, can I build... I don't have enough space for a medium restaurant. Hmm. I need to get 60 population. I think I can actually do that. Possibly. Maybe. See if we can put some more people in here. That'll give a little bit of a boost to our economy. Um, and in the meantime, I will allocate space for these stores. That'll be good. But we definitely need a storeroom for any of these. Let's count how many there are there. One, two, three, four, five, six types of stores. I always like to have at least one of each type of store. Okay. Oh, we made money. Excellent. I am pleased about this. So let's just put these stores fit so nicely over here. I think I'll just put them that way. And in this way, we can have at least one type of, or one storage bay. That'll be good. Put it on the left. Okay, I think that will fit. Let's see if it fits. No, I need two more spaces. What? Oh, okay. There we go. I was trying to make the lower floor uh, longer than the upper floor, and that is not allowed in the basement levels. Okay. And here I will have one of these, and then I will have a space for the restaurants. And I think maybe one space is enough for smells to dissipate. I know it's enough for garbage cans. Okay, so we need cafes here. Maybe one or two of them. Okay. And we need, do we have a bakery, coffee and lunch. Let's have Mary move in. I believe she's going to need water, if I'm not mistaken. shove a store in there and hopefully they will not be bothered by the smell of this uh, place here yes she wants water that Mary okay let's just put water on all these levels because the restaurants may require I'm so bad at remembering which ones require what so forgive me on that there are so many different types of buildings it's hard to keep track for me all right, so let's connect water. And we also need, uh, we need money. <laughs> I ran out of money, oh dear. Okay, no worries. We will, we will get to it at the end of the night. We will have money and all will be good. Wow, the building is so quiet at night with just offices, huh, dear me. Well, at least we have these nice floors here and we will soon get in a storeroom and get these stores going and I will, oh no, Mary moved out, alas. Shoot, all right, fine. I needed one more square of water. Of course, I probably also needed, yeah, I had electricity, just the water. Oh, that was so bad of me. Okay, so let's just shove it back in here. See if her friend Joanne wants to come back or Cheryl. It doesn't matter. All right, Joanne. We'll pick Joanne. And I want to build a storeroom down here. Good. And do I have enough money to start a store? No, I need 300. Shoot. Well, let me get another loan. Okay, I'll just get this 3,500 loan. That'll be okay. So I can at least shove these some of these shops in here. 193, that sounds good. Electronics, 238, wow, that's nice. Books, let's go with Midway Magazines. And then a drugstore, 248. Okay, good. And I think they need phones, this place. Yeah, yeah, they do. Okay, good. So now, uh, also I need medium restaurants. That's good to know. 
Um, I wonder if they want... They do expect trash bins. So I'm going to wait on those, I think. Oh, these guys need phones too. All right, here, you can have phones. Go for it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to build more offices because those are our steady money-making things. And I have to be very careful because I don't want to overspend and not be able to get the utilities to a specific place that needs it, for example. So I'm going to be very cautious in this area. And hopefully these stores are just going to make us more money uh, than we're spending on this uh, storage unit. That's $400 a day. Um, so that's $100 per store if it's filled, basically. All right, I just realized that time for this episode is up. Thank you so very much for joining me. I'm Catherine of Sky. Take care of yourselves and each other. See you next time.